Well, it's a combination with peanut sauce. I don't know what it is. It's just magical. Mm. Mm -mm. Yo, what up, Pammies? It's your boy, BP Ham, and today we're making the most popular Vietnamese appetizer called Gai Quang. This is your Vietnamese spring roll. And usually at the restaurants, you only get shrimp or pork, but we don't skimp here, so we're gonna get shrimp and pork, and we're gonna top it off with the delicious peanut sauce. This is my favorite appetizer, so let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna need pork belly, shrimp, vermicelli noodle, rice paper, a bunch of green veggies, so we got Thai basil, Asian mint, cilantro, green lettuce, chive, and cucumber. For the peanut sauce, you're gonna need peanut butter, hoisin sauce, green onion, and garlic. There is quite a bit of prep to making spring rolls, so just make sure you have adequate time to prepare. You're gonna have to cook the pork, the shrimp, the noodles, make the peanut sauce, and then you're gonna have to assemble all of it together. So over here, I have some water that I'm bringing to a boil, and while that's coming to a boil, I'm gonna wash the pork. We have about two pounds of pork belly here. I'm gonna use some regular salt and just put some salt on there. And then I'm gonna add a bit of water and then just use that to kind of rub around the pork belly, making sure that we got salt all around it. And this kind of helps clean it up a little bit. You don't have to do this, but this is how my parents do it. So I'm gonna follow that. And then we're just gonna wash this with some cold water. You see all that stuff coming out. We just want to remove all of that. And then remove all of that salt from the pork. Make sure when you're working with pork, you have a clean sink because you don't want to contaminate the rest of your dishes. So we got that washed up. We're going to put that to the side. Make sure you wash your hands with warm water and soap. We got our clean pork belly here and boiling water. We're going to boil this pork belly for about two to three minutes and that's going to remove some of the impurities and then we're going to drain it and then cook it again. So pork belly going in. Make sure you have enough water to cover your pork belly and just watch over it um, so it doesn't spill over. After about two to three minutes, you can see that the impurities are kind of coming out and we're gonna drain this. So drain that pork out. And you're just gonna rinse it a little bit. Now that the pork is clean, we're gonna boil some more water and put it back in for about 25 to 30 minutes. To save some time while our pork is cooking, I'm also gonna boil another pot of water for our noodles. While the water's coming to a boil, I'm gonna add a spoonful of sugar and just a little bit of salt. You don't have to do that, but I just wanna add a little bit more flavor to the pork. Our water has come back to a boil and I'm gonna add back in the pork belly. Add that straight back in there. Make sure again that it's covered and we're going to set a timer for 25 to 30 minutes until it's cooked. And you're gonna know it's cooked. You're gonna stick a chopstick in and it's gonna go all the way through pretty easily. And then the liquid that runs out is gonna run clear. If it's still pink or a little red, that means your pork is not yet cooked. Next, we're gonna cook our vermicelli noodles. This is a two pound bag. I've already used a pound for something else. Depending on how many noodles you want in your spring rolls, you can adjust how much you cook. But I'm gonna cook about half a pound, which is half of one of these. You're gonna boil these for eight minutes and then rinse them under cold running water. You really wanna follow the directions from the brand that you use because they're all different. They come in little stacks like this. You see there's four here, so we know that's one pound. So I'm gonna use two of them, which is half a pound. I'm just gonna put that into boiling water for eight minutes. You're gonna to wanna to stir that around. Keep an eye on it, come around and stir it around every so often so that they don't stick to the bottom. You can see since we cleaned our pork earlier that the water is very clear and that's what you wanna see. Every so often, just come over to your noodles and stir them around like that. It's been eight minutes, our noodles are done cooking and now we're gonna take them to the stove to drain them off. Now you're gonna run them under cold running water and this is gonna help them stop cooking and to not stick to each other. And I just like to get my hands in there, spread them out and make sure they all feel cool to the touch. Once they're cold, we're just gonna put a damp paper towel over them and set them aside until we're ready to assemble our spring rolls. Now that our noodles are done, we're gonna cook our shrimp. So I'm gonna bring another pot of water to a boil. While we're waiting for the pot of water to boil, we're gonna devein our shrimps. This is shrimp with the shell on and we're gonna keep that shell on because it's gonna help maintain that orange red color when we boil it. So what I like to do is devein my shrimp while it's still raw. It's kind of easier to do. You're gonna find the midway point between uh, the tail and the head and you're just gonna poke right under there, kind of break the shell. And then you're gonna go right under there below the vein Pull it up and the vein will come right 
out just like that. It's kind of gross, but I find it a lot easier to do now than when it's already cooked. It's been 25 minutes, our pork is cooked. I'm gonna pull it out onto a plate. Poke a hole straight through. And the juices are running clear underneath, so we know it's cooked. We got the shrimp deveined, our water has come to a boil, so we're gonna put the shrimp into the boiling water, adding a spoonful of sugar for some sweetness, and then we're gonna dump the shrimp right in. Be careful. Shrimp cooks really fast, so make sure you watch over it. It takes about two to four minutes to cook. Just stir it around. You see it's curled up and turn a bright orange color and they're done. Drain them and run them under cold running water to stop the cooking. You see they're nice and bright orange and now we're just gonna peel them. How you peel a shrimp is you're going to just peel away the shell outwards like so and you can peel it all the way around when i get to the end i just hold the bottom and it comes right out now we're going to do all our cutting prep before we start wrapping the spring rolls so first we're going to cut up some green onion and some garlic for our peanut sauce so start with the green onion you're just going to get about four or five green onions i have four pretty big ones here cut off the top ends and then cut off all the white parts just slice them and then run your knife through them just a few times. Gather that up and set it aside. And then get the green ends and do the same thing. So just give that a dice. Watch out for your fingers. And we're done. Just set that aside as well. So here's our cooked pork. I'm just going to cut this in half. Nice and cooked on the inside. You can see that. And we're just going to cut this into really thin pieces. So just carefully cut through. Now that the pork's all cut, we're gonna cut our shrimps in half. So just get your knife and slice it through the middle. Be careful. And if any of your vein didn't come out properly, just clean them out now. So I just get a paper towel and make sure they're pretty clean. But look how nice and cooked that is on the inside, not overcooked, not undercooked. It's perfect. I think what makes or breaks a good spring roll is an overcooked shrimp. So make sure you're only cooking your shrimp for about two to three minutes. Don't overcook them because they become tough and rubbery. We're also gonna need two to three cloves of garlic and we're just gonna mince that up. So I'm gonna smash it to remove the skin and then just remove the root end and then just mince it. We're gonna be sauteing that with our white green onion head. So I'm just gonna put that into the same bowl. Now we're gonna make the signature dipping sauce for the spring rolls. And let me tell you, this stuff is so addicting. It's peanut sauce with hoisin sauce mixed together with some aromatics. It's so, so good. What we're gonna do first is dissolve two tablespoons of peanut butter into half a cup of water. This looks disgusting, but don't worry, it'll work out. We're just diluting the peanut butter a little bit. Grab a small saucepan. We're gonna heat this up over medium heat. Add in some oil. Heat up those aromatics we cut earlier, so that white part of the green onion and the garlic. Get that in there. Saute that a little bit. Already that smells good. Let that go for a few minutes. We got that cooked out. Now we're gonna cook in some of the hoisin sauce. So we're gonna add about two to three tablespoons of hoisin sauce, depending on your taste. Cook that through with the aromatics for about 30 seconds. And now add in that peanut butter mixture. Stir that around. That's gonna come together in a nice glossy sauce. Let that cook out a little bit. Add in some of our fresh green onion. Add in about a teaspoon of sugar. Mix that around, let that dissolve. And we're done. Just taste it. If you want it a little darker, add more hoisin sauce. And if not, you're good to go. If you guys are allergic to peanut butter, you can make fish sauce, which is a combination of fish sauce, sugar, sambal, lime, and garlic. I have a video showing you guys how to make this, and I'll link that here. But if you're allergic to peanut butter, I will definitely recommend using this. Here's our spread for the spring rolls. We got our shrimp cut. We got our sliced pork belly, our noodles, our veggies, chive, 
and cucumber. We're almost ready to assemble. We're just gonna cut a cucumber quickly. So just cut the ends off of that cucumber, peel that cucumber skin off. Doesn't need to be perfect because some of that green, it adds a nice texture. I'm not a huge fan of cucumber, but um, some people like it. So I'm just gonna cut some up to put into some of them. Cut that into strips. And then we have chive. You don't really need this, but it adds a nice look and texture to your spring roll. So we're just gonna cut off about the bottom third of it. And that's all you're gonna need. So now we're ready to wrap them and this is called banjang and that's just rice paper. And we're going to wet this and that's gonna become the outside layer of the spring roll. They look like this. This is a 22 centimeter version. You wanna wet this for about 10 to 15 seconds in warm water. And don't worry when you take it out of the water if it's not soft yet, it'll get soft as you're working on it. So you're gonna place that down. For the base, we're gonna add in some lettuce cilantro, Thai basil, and Asian mint. You wanna put that on the back half of your rice paper. Grab just a little bit of vermicelli noodle. You don't wanna overfill them because it's gonna be hard to wrap. Grab about two to three slices of pork. And then three shrimps. And you want them all facing the same way and facing outwards. You're gonna line those up on the top half of your spring roll. And this is gonna show out, so you want to make sure it looks good. And here you can add a cucumber, but I don't really like cucumber, so you can add that here on top. And now what we're gonna do is fold in the sides so that they're straight, like so. And then you're gonna take the back, wrap it around while you're holding in the sides, and as you're holding it, you wanna Use your front two fingers to keep all that in and you wanna pull it back as you're rolling so it's taut, but don't pull too hard or it's gonna rip. Roll that over. And once you get to about here, I don't know why we do this, but we add in some chive right in there so that some of it sticks outside and then keep rolling it up, making sure it's taut. And then you have your nicely rolled spring roll. Depending on how thin you cut your pork, you can get about 15 to 18 spring rolls from about two pounds of meat and one to one and a half pounds of shrimp. You're just gonna have to gauge the size of your shrimp and the thinness of your meat cut. But here we have our finished spring roll and they look so good. Look at those shrimps, nicely aligned. You wanna make sure you align them so they look nice when you fold them. And then you got your little chive piece at the end. Now we're gonna taste it with our peanut sauce. Mmm, mmm, look at that inside. You got all your lettuce, your herbs, your shrimp, your pork. Oh, it's a combination with peanut sauce. I don't know what it is. It's just magical. Mmm, 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 mmm. I admit there is a lot of prep, but once you get everything prepped and cut, assembling it could be a big party. You can invite your friends over, have a spring roll party, or even make all of it ahead of time and right before dinner, just wrap them up for your family or yourself or whoever is eating them because trust me, people are gonna be clamoring for these. And you really can put whatever you want inside of these. This is just the typical Vietnamese pork and shrimp spring roll that everybody loves. So if you like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below on what you would like me to cook next. Until next time, peace.